The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're joined by an extra special guest, Sober Rob. He's going to be showing us a thing or two about warping and chopping your old songs into a new song. Sober Rob, take it away. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Sorry. No, you're good. Let's get in this chair. <laughs> Welcome to the show. What's going on, guys? I appreciate you coming by. Your hand looks very shakable. Thank you. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys essentially how to sample yourself, simply put, but what I did with this track is I had this old idea that I liked a lot. I took it and chopped it up and kind of sampled it into its own new song, which is like completely different from the original. So I'm gonna play the original idea. The first thing I did, I warped it and then you put it on beats mode. So th the end, all I did was chop two bars of that track. And then just literally loop that over and over again because I liked that chop a lot. So I pitched it up 12, put it on beats mode, and then put the transient gate. You have to switch it to this arrow, which I don't technically know what it does, but it, it sounds like a gate and then you put it down to 52 which is just what I you can hear what it sounds like if I go lower or higher so if I go higher you can hear it kind of morph back into the old version and it's also pitched up an octave so if I bring it up to 100 It's still a little gated, but then bring it back down to zero. That's how the idea started. And then minimal stuff actually added to it. My friend Ben Zadie, who's a singer, he like just did some random kind of just improvising over it. He, do, he like doesn't like say lyrics ne necessarily. Basically that's the lead part that comes in. Still a lot of clicks in there right now, but sometimes the clicks can actually sound cool or like rhythmic. Then there's this other layer that comes in. And then th this other last layer is just some like complimentary harmony stuff. So then when they're all together, you can kind of get the uh, the Fuck yeah. This is honestly probably one of the most simple tracks I've ever made, but this concept is something that I like to use like all the time, even if it's from making new ideas to doing it on a smaller scale and resampling yourself within a project to get cool sounds. So the, the other main element of this song is the 808 that comes in. I'll show you that. Dang, you warp your 808s? <laughs> I usually don't like it. I Normally I hate it, but here I tried unwarping it and it just sounded like too clean. It was respectful. taking character away. <laughs> it, was, it was too respectful. Yeah, exactly. Just wasn't how it was meant to be. Yeah. Okay, so let's, I'll show you that. Hey. <laughs> That's disrespectful. <laughs> that warp. So I, I just ended up leaving these three warped. For some reason they sound good. And you can hear the clear difference, like that's like super clean. And then yep. these ones have like that texture on them. 
but I tried it with with and without, and it just sounded it sounded weird without it to me. That sounds tight. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. <laughs> well, is that everything you wanted to show us here about warping and chopping? Pretty much, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being a part of today's show. The tips and tricks you showed about slicing and resampling your old songs into new ones is so useful. Thank you so much for coming by and sharing that with us. Of course, yeah. Thanks for having me. And I'll catch you guys next time with another tutorial. Peace out.